Welcome to another exciting Big Idea Experience Live. In today's episode, we're turning things upside down. And if you don't put this big idea into practice, you can end up making a huge mess. Keep watching to see how. Welcome to another exciting Big Idea Experience Live. Today we're talking about the big idea of humility. Why don't you all repeat this after me? Humility. humility. It's putting others first, putting others first. By, giving by giving up what you think you deserve. What you think you deserve. That's right. Now, humility can actually be a really difficult big idea to put into practice. Benjamin Franklin is famous for saying, Alas, if I ever became truly humble, I think I would be proud of it. <laughs> That's kind of funny because sometimes when we think about being humble and having humility, it means that we're not proud of ourselves. But the truth is, if we want to maximize our potential, there's nothing wrong of being with being proud of the things that we've accomplished. Swiss author Henry Frederick Emil said, There's no respect for others without humility in oneself. So if we want to be people who maximize our potential and treat others right, that means that we need to think about giving up what we think we deserve. And that means that we need to put others first. Let's take a look at what that would look like. Here I have two glasses. One of them says me, and the other one says others. Now, there's nothing special in these, in these glasses. It's just water, but we're going to add just a little bit of color to it so it helps them stand out. Ooh, look at that. So cool. There we go, we'll make me blue and we'll make others red. Looking good. Now, here's what the, this looks like, is we wanna put other people above ourselves. But sometimes it's really hard to have humility. And let's say that you're playing basketball at recess and your team wins the game. And you're so excited that you wanna tell everybody about it. So the whole way into recess, back into the school, you're bragging about how awesome your performance was. Now. Here's the thing, is you're putting yourself above others in that case, and truthfully, you're gonna make the other team maybe feel a little bad. And so what ends up happening is you realize the next time that, they, that you wanna play basketball, the other kids, they don't even wanna play with you. And what ends up happening is that you make a mess. Check that out. You see the colors are mixing, and it's not really a very nice looking color. And this is what it looks like when you put yourself above others. Now let's take a look and see what it would be like if we did put others first. We'll even use that same situation. You're at recess and you had a basketball game and you won. But this time, instead of bragging about how awesome you are, what if you told the other team that they did a great job? What if you even asked them for help with your free throws? That is a great way to put others above yourself. And you know what? You're going to find that not only are they going to want to play basketball again with you, but as a matter of fact, they're even going to maybe want you on their team to play with them. And so when you put others first, you can see that it leaves everything in a much better situation for yourself and for other people as well. And that's really what humility is all about. It's like that quote that we talked about earlier. It, it means that you think about yourself less and you put others above yourself. So everybody say humility. humility. It's putting others first, putting others first. By, giving up by giving up what you think you deserve. 